Thursday, I got a call maybe in the afternoon about 3 o'clock, 3.30, and told me about who I work, we work so tireless with in this community, and that is the Davis, Troy Davis family. And uh, she, the person told me, said, Chester said, if you want to come to see this young lady, you better, you know, you better come to see her because she is really sick. And I thought about the next day, and I said, okay, I said, you know, pretty soon I'll be there. And I started getting ready to, to, to go to the hospital. And I'm talking none other but Martina uh, Davis Corral. But we, everybody, know, we call her Martina. And then I got a call about another two hours later and said that she had already passed. Now, as you all in this community know her, which was a dynamic person, this family had encountered and went through so much in these last few years. To I, my heart is, goes out to her son. I think he's 17 years old. Uh, and other people in the family, I don't know, sisters and other individuals in the family, but he has a situation where in a short period of time in this family, this young man lost his grandmother. They took away his uncle's life by executing him and now he lost his mother. So this family had went through so much and this family had touched global people all over the world. Uh, Martina had touched so many people and so many people have touched her. And um, so again to this whole overall community, my heart goes out to the Davis family and I hope that your heart and your prayer will also uh, pray for the family uh, and this sort of thing. But I guess that's what we we'll talk more about that. But that's I wanted to say those things. Um, I have prayed prayed several times myself. And um, Wes, you want to add anything on to that? Uh, yes. I, yes. <coughs> I just wanted to say that uh, I do not think the community, and I'm talking about the black community, has fully appreciated what uh, this young woman has done for us. Um, I think that we will not appreciate this for some time to come. It was more about, it was more than just about her brother's innocence. It is about a system that, that would not let our people go. And uh, we, as a community, uh, we have some repentance because we did not support this. Um, as you know, many people, when you do something in your neighborhood, you're never really appreciated by your neighbors because they always remember you as some other thing. Uh, but I think that what we have to do here, Chester, is to make sure that we do not let this become something that is just passed by. Mm -hmm. Now, I know people t call Harriet Tubman, um, um, an outlaw, all the people that when Re Reverend King started something, people were not there. Mm -hmm. uh, this criminal justice system and this death penalty right. is is a, a stone around our community's neck. And we got to make sure that we don't forget what they've done. This is not the end. This is It'll take years before people really appreciate what they have done.